Do you ever have this issue where you can't get these thick long plugs to get behind a piece of furniture, let's say a bed or a cabinet, and it just doesn't fit? Well, stay tuned, I'll show you a solution. Hi friends, welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about a very common issue that most people experience whenever they're trying to plug something into an outlet, especially if that outlet is located behind a piece of furniture, let's say a couch, or a bookshelf, or maybe even behind their bed. That issue comes about whenever they're trying to plug a really thick plug. Let's say this plug is a vacuum plug, your computer plug. I have a laptop that has this really huge bar measuring up to at least three inches. And given the only way that you can get that plug put on behind that furniture is either you move that furniture and end up having this really big gap. Now you have this ugly gap that's measuring to about five inches and also it's a fire hazard. So why a fire hazard you ask? Well, when you start using that couch or that bed, you will unknowingly start pushing that against that plug and that cord that's connected to that plug is gonna get bent or kinked. And with a kink plug like that, it creates stress on that cord and it will start heating up. Eventually it'll start to tear, and it'll start generating heat and it'll eventually spark and possibly start a fire. And that's one thing that you don't want to do. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a few methods, a few tips and tricks and suggestions that you can do at home and also introducing some products. Just to let you know, I am not sponsored by any of the products that I'll be showing you today. I bought this all with my own money so that I can show you and help you out around your home. With that being said, let's get to method number one. So this first product that I want to introduce to you today is this power strip with USB port and it's by this company right here. If you're interested on any of the products that I show you on this video, I'll leave all the links on the description down below. Feel free to click on those anytime. So let's open this up. This does have an option of whether you want it black or white. This has a rotating plug. And let's compare this with a regular thick plug and we'll do some measurements. So just for comparison's sake, I brought a few plugs here. This one is for a USB also. And you have the most common one that you see, most plugs that you see all the time. There's Here's those little three prong thick ones. But let's go measure it up and see what the difference is. Let's start with this one right here. So again, this is just a mock-up. Don't mind the holes. I use this for projects to show other videos. Let's plug this in. And given, you can actually move this up and down. So if you need to locate this either up above or down below, you have that option. Here it measures up to three quarters, just about. So it also depends on what outlet that you have or receptacle, if you want to get technical on that. Let's take this out and let's do our regular plug. So this is the most common one that you see most often. I'm going to measure to where it starts to 90 or bend. Inch and three quarters. So that's one inch more compared to this one. Now let's get with this one. This one measures to an inch and a half. Let's get to this humongous three prong plug. This one measures to two and a half. Imagine that the unsightly gap that you will have. And also given I have my other example which is my monster block right here this measures up to close to three inches and that's not including the cord that sticks out so imagine how much space you can save with this plug again like what i said it swivels up and down and if you look to the actual plug itself it has three ports and two usb ports there's also a space here where you can actually hang it to the wall it comes with hardware as well now let's get to the next plug that will even save you more space. Now this next product is by Tessan and it's the model TS102C. It comes in different lengths. This one is nine feet long, but you can get them in shorter lengths. Just check out the options that you have. Also make sure that when you're using these plugs, that you follow the instructions for this one for your safety ensure that the load power does not exceed the rated power of 120 watts make sure you do your research on each one of these and you always test out don't exceed it because it will create a fire so let's look at the plug and look how tiny and skinny that is let's compare now and let's plug it in okay so this does come with a ground plug now look how skinny that is this thing measures to about 
not even half an inch look how thicker this one is remember this one is three quarter inch sticking out and this one is less than an half an inch just to put things in perspective let me get your common plug your two prong plug and let's get the big boy brick compared to that it has these usb and usb-c plug just like the other one you can you screw this onto the wall, hang it up. Let's get to the next product. And they're about the same as well, same thickness. But this one's black, you can choose white as well. But this one has a different function and it has a little bevel sticking out. And what's great about this is that you can actually, if you have a work desk, you can cut out a hole and place that in there and screw it right on to your work table or anywhere on the wall as well to make it nice and flush. It has two USB ports. This one's a furniture socket extender. So this next one that I want to introduce to you is a very cool one and it is the that's called the sleek socket. It's a universal for duplex outlet size. Like what the name says it's very sleek. It's an extension cord. Again you can choose whatever length that you want. There's options. It has three plugs. There is no USB or USB-C. It all is just, just plug. Specifications for wattage. So you got a maximum amp of 13, maximum volts of 125, and maximum watts of 1,625. Okay, friends? So all this, make sure you take into account before plugging anything. Okay, friends? You don't want to cause a fire. These are made for extension purposes and be smart of what you plug in. You just place it right over your regular outlet and just like that, really run this cord now along your baseboards. It does have this 90 degree channel that you can run just like this. It's double sided tape at the back so you can take that off and then you can orient it to wherever you want and you can just discreetly run it along your baseboard with extra clips it's about the same as the other plug i actually just bought a couch that needs two plugs so i think i'm gonna go and use this because our living room is white and this will blend perfectly well and will be discreet running along the wall there Here's your common outlet with the cover. This one is a little different. It's a lot more square. Let's see if this one will fit right over it. And it does cover that as well. So also take note before you use this, take this piece of paper out, the UL standard. Okay, friends? So always look for this sign right here. So here are all the products that I went over throughout this video. Personally, I'm going to use every one of them because each one I can use in the various areas in my house. So there you have it, friends. These are the four products that I highly suggest when it comes to solving those unsightly gaps between your furniture and your wall. I am not sponsored by any of these companies. I bought this with my own money so I can help you, friends. And also make sure that you read the safety manuals on each and every one of these. Don't overload the circuits because if you do, it will potentially create a fire. You don't want that. And friends, if you're interested on any of these products, I'll leave all the links on the description down below. So friends, if you found this video super helpful, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.